For healthy brain development, a child needs to feel secure and protected. Stress can have long-term effects on the developing brain. It can also create health issues for the heart and the immune system. Any baby who has too much stress will react badly. What happens is that our, our brain circuits that deal with stress and anxiety and, and fear or anger, the kinds of things that we experience when we're stressed, will learn to fire more frequently. And then we learn to deal with new things that come along as if they were stresses, as if they were threats. One of the things that happens is that our, our endocrine system, our hormones change. We get more of a hormone called cortisol, which is a stress hormone. And that clearly affects the way the brain is wired up, and it also affects the rest of our body. So there is evidence, for example, that babies who have a lot of stress in their first couple of years end up in adulthood with more heart problems, more heart attacks and things like that. So the effects are intense and they're very long-lasting. Clearly, uh, things like anger and violence are hard on babies. Uh, so is deprivation and being left alone for too long. There are other kinds of things like uh, uh, disputes between parents or violence in a home uh, or divorce or illness in a parent or violence in a neighborhood. All of these things can cause stress directly to the baby if he's exposed to it, but they also affect the baby because they affect the caregiver. And if a caregiver is very stressed, it's hard for the caregiver to be able to respond effectively, sensitively uh, to the baby in ways that reduce the baby's stress. There are a couple of things that parents can do when they recognize stresses in the home that might affect the baby. Uh, one is to think about how they can protect the baby from those experiences. So if you expect somebody to be coming in and causing a big fuss in the house and a lot of fighting, maybe it's a good time for the baby not to be there. Parents can also learn how to disagree in ways that are less stressful for those around them. Other kind of, of thing to think about is how are the stresses affecting you as the caregiver for the baby and taking a little bit of time and stepping back and getting yourself regulated so that when you're with the baby, you can regulate the baby. Being a parent is not easy. There are ways to get support and help. There are free services for future parents and parents of young children, such as Healthy Babies, Healthy Children programs, Ontario Early Years Centers, Parenting and Family Literacy Centers, Community Action Programs for Children, Canada's Prenatal Nutrition Programs, Best Start Hubs, Family Resource Programs, and parenting programs such as The Incredible Years and Nobody's Perfect. To find out about local services, contact your public health unit or ask your health care provider.